welcome back to our channel hope you're doing well you have joined us for another episode of the postgrad diary you sort of seen by the title we are back in london well not yet but we're about to be back in london and this time i'm actually away with work for three days in total two nights three days um so i'm heading down it's currently monday the 15th of may call me at a very stressful time i don't i think it's just because i'm out of routine it's currently four o'clock and you guys will know from the previous vlogs when I go to London, I am up and out at the crack of dawn, like 5am, 6am. The time we've switched up, I've had had a lot more work to do and meetings that I could do from home this morning, so needed to get those out of the way. Plan is to get down, do some more work on the train. You guys can keep me company, keep me sane, hopefully, behind the scenes. Might not be able to share too much work-wise, um, and I am in full back to back meetings all day pretty much as soon as I step foot in that London office. So we'll just we'll just see how it goes, but yeah. We'll spend some time together behind the scenes the best thing about going down at this sort of time is that i'm in comfy on or active wear i'm not in work wear which just makes my soul happy she hoping to plan to do a gym session once i get there to the hotel in one piece because this gym that i'm staying this hotel that i'm staying in tonight at the hilton it does have a gym facility whereas the other one i've actually got to move hotels in between this little trip so the other gym doesn't have a gym the other gym the other hotel that I'm staying in doesn't have a gym, so I thought we'll make the most tonight and hopefully tomorrow morning. Clock in early. We've got to keep clocking in. Just because I'm away with work doesn't mean we let that slip. <laughs> the tripod just completely caved. Quite frankly, I feel like I could just cave and collapse on one of those beds. Right, guys, how spooky is this? I've made it I've made it to the hotel, but how spooky is this? I'm in the exact same room in the exact same hotel that I stayed in last time that I was down in London for work, and it's 1111. That's the room number. I think someone's up there looking out for me, you know? I really do. Anyway, I stopped off at M&S on my way. However, we said in a previous vlog or a vlog to come, but I've got a new obsession with the chicken katsu sushi rolls and they had none. Um, they, were, they had the label there, but they were all gone. So I opted for this classic sushi selection. No idea what it's gonna be. I'm seeing avocado. I might just have to take that out. Really random assortment, by the way. Got some sweet chili crisps. Poison duck wrap. Thought it would match the sushi bag, but I might actually save that for tomorrow's lunch. Um, some white chocolate chunk cookies because these are just the best. The best. Uh, what else did I get? Oh. I got some salted caramel rice cakes. I was thinking one to have one now as a little pre-workout snack. I can resist my favourite little pink porn star martini cocktail because why not? It's a Monday. Let's treat ourselves. The time is ten past seven. Gosh, when I last checked in with you, that was like not even four o'clock. Oh my goodness. Travel really does take a long time for me, but where does the time go? I feel like that train journey was so long, but so quick at the same time, because I didn't come up for air doing work. I've still got more work to do to prep for tomorrow, but let's just give you a quick little pan of the room. So it's like a join up door, which let's just not get freaked out by that, but it is a twin bed. How much space we've got. Lovely full length mirror. I'm gonna try and get some honor content because we've got a new release dropping tomorrow. So I've got to somehow factor that in. I have brought the fits as well. So you may see a familiar mirror over on our Instagram if I do end up posting using some form of content in this room. Um, I've got a lovely wardrobe space and iron, lots of room there and oh, towels. I'm hoping this is a hairdryer, yep. Yeah. I had to sacrifice mine, the suitcase was already full. And then this is the bathroom. Lovely, lovely. Again, nothing new if you have already watched the other London Postgrad Diaries episode. But yeah, it's such a spacious room. Such a shame I'm only in here for one night. I'm in the mood to like go out and about in London because the weather is so nice. Like blue skies, a little bit cloudy, but blue skies but none of my team are down yet, so it would just be like a solo dinner for one, which I'd rather spend having my little M&S room picnic for one in the hotel room, quite frankly. So I feel like I need to save my social battery for the office itself. Tomorrow we've got a full team jam-packed day, which I'm actually really looking forward to. I've not seen the full broader team in so long. And then Wednesday is a full day blocked out meeting, so 
yeah i need to just probably probably best of having some time to just regroup with myself because as a, like i've just been a scatty hot mess today before i procrastinate any longer i'm gonna head to the gym i've got my gym stuff on I'm wearing the timeless jacket the mellow top and then the timeless sports bra effortless leggings bit of a mixture of collections but all my favorite Get your grandma out to see. You know what I'm saying? Stop making you wanna move. Hey, why's it been stand up? Hometown stand up. Let's get it. Hey, hey. Face on the left side. Know that's my best side. Step into that west side. Fuck. Was it real dreamy? California living. Everybody from the 831. Do 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 do. Better know I got the hook. good morning guys i literally didn't sleep at all um we're not going to talk about it i'm in a bit of a grumpy mood so i need to snap out of it give myself a pep talk on the way Blue skies keeping me happy, but I'll just quickly show you my outfit before I head out. I wasn't what I intended to wear. Um, I was going for a linen green oversized shirt and first thing in the morning, I underestimated how cold it would be. I just looked at like the average temperature. It was like 18 degrees. So I was like, oh, I don't need a jacket. I probably do. So yeah, this is what we're working with. I've got the Zara long sleeve bodysuit on. These trousers are actually new, again from Zara, but they're the high-waisted ones that come in like 14, 17 different colorways. I'm yet to like take down the pockets, but um, yeah, they are slightly big, but basically, <laughs> I don't mind letting you into a little secret, but basically I had to size up into the medium because although they're quite big now and I probably could fit into a small, if not extra small, I will not be able to do that at lunchtime. I suffer with severe bloating, uh, especially when I'm away traveling and with work. So I have to allow for that extra little, that room. So also so comfy if you size up as well. I have tried them in a small and they fit until they don't fit. <laughs> if that makes any sense throughout the day. So yeah, highly recommend. I'll link the outfit in the description. I have got just this oversized blazer and I've got my new balances on. I am a disheveled, drained mess. <laughs> My voice is going. I've not even been doing that much talking today, but can we all just like collapse in a heap together, please? <laughs> time to check in to hotel number two. I said in an earlier update that I've had to move hotels, which is fine. It was just because the other one was fully booked for the full duration of my trip. So I'm staying in the travel lodge, which is just outside of Canary Wharf, and I've got this lovely view of like central London and it's all its glory in the sunshine. Look at those rays. Wow, we love it. Let's give you a quick room tour as well before I trash the place. Um, as I said, I've not stayed in this one before, but first impressions, I'm impressed. Lovely double beds. And then, okay, they even get brownie points because you can't say no to free chocolate and actually hot chocolate. So very impressed with this little setup. Viewers viewing, love that. Today has been such a long day. Like I, I even said no to the pub. I never say no to the pub and that just tells you like how tired or socially drained I am. But it's in a good way because I've loved seeing everyone in person and so good to have the full team together. It's how it should be. I think part of me was also anxious about because I've, like I said, I've had a faff with the hotels. So do you ever get that way? Like you worry that you're not on the checked in, the check-in system. Like when you give, you have to give a name and it's like that moment of truth where they're waiting and scanning when you're, when you're waiting for 
This hotel, however, does not have the luxury of a fitness suite or gym, and to be honest, I need the rest. My body's craving the rest. You'll notice I didn't go to the gym this morning either. I just, again, needed the rest, didn't sleep well at all, and needed prioritised sleep. I'm not too fussed about that because I feel like I've done, I mean, I've done my fair share of steps today, so I've got in some active movement where I can. I feel like I just need that time to, like, process, reflect on the day, and then before I get prepped for tomorrow's full day, um, so yeah, I'm thinking ordering Uber Eats, probably Wagamama's, let's keep, stick to what we know in times like this, you know? I just feel like I need that bit of comfort. Um, we have, however, just had an Honor Active launch go live, so I'm going to try and do some stories for that before I collapse in a heap over there. It's coming up to six o'clock, but I really just wanted to do a tiny bit more work. I know that sounds like workaholic boundaries, Amy, boundaries, but I just wanna wrap up some reflections and take stock of what actually went on today rather than let it roll over to the next day, which actually I won't have time to do tomorrow because again, I'm in a full day session. So by that point, it'll be the weekend and I'll be like, oh, what did what did we actually do? What went on? It's gonna be a tough call between Wagamama's or Nando's probably. Let's keep it, let's keep it basic. Why not? Why not? We've had a busy day. Let's just stick to what we know at this point. Bag has well and truly been secured. It felt quite weighty. Um, let's give you guys a haul. I'm hoping everything is in here because I am starving. Absolutely starving. Wow. Okay, we've got a lot of got a lot going on here. I'm a bit sceptical whether to have it on the bed. I'm going to use this tray. Oh, she is a genius. Okay, they have truly spoiled me because not one, but two rainbow coleslaw for some reason. Um, got the pita breads in there for the peri hummus, but I'm guessing you don't get the little fun jar, so it must be peri salt on top. Got a little vino. I went for the butterfly chicken. Do not judge me, okay? I can see you. I can literally feel you judging me right now for lemon and herb, but we're just going to move past that. Perry sort of chips. This is the plan for the foreseeable because I will be pigging out for a while. Made it to day three, people. We've made it to day three. We're looking worse for wear. We're sounding worse for wear, but we're up and we're about to be out. Um, I did have a lie in there this morning because I actually haven't, I don't have the words to excuse myself from working so late as I did last night, but basically I wanted to do all the work that I needed to do early this morning before the full day session last night, just so I could get like a good night's sleep without, you know, replying to emails in my head, doing the work in my head, because that's not a good place to be. And quite frankly, I had nothing else to do. You know, I didn't have my personal laptop. Look at me excusing, you know, I can't justify it. I should not have to justify, but it was because I wanted to do the work, not because I had to do the work. So I think, think we just about get away with it. But anyway, I'm about to check out now. I ha haven't made it downstairs to the breakfast, but I think I'm just going to grab a pret or Starbucks on the way just because my pret order, I've got down to a tea, a tea by now. I was craving one of their five berry yogurt bowls, <laughs> a cinnamon swirl or a pan of raisin. I feel like it's a lot though to be like, I've got a suitcase, got my blazer, got my bag, got my water bottle. It's going to be a lot to like carry a coffee as well, but we're just going to try and navigate it. <laughs> I do feel a bit disorientated waking up in you know a place I'm not familiar with, the commute I'm not familiar with. Got blue skies again, so I mean London's looking smoggy as anything, but I'm excited. Not sure when I'll be able to check in with you guys next, but let's all just pray. Pray for a good day. Maybe a challenging day, but as long as we end on a positive note, then I'm happy. <laughs>